everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun book haul to share with you. I have been purchasing books over the last couple weeks to go along with some of the unit studies that we are currently working on, some studies that we're getting ready to move into, and overall just some great books to add to our library. So I wanted to share those with you. Majority of the stuff that I bought was from Amazon, Goodwill, and a little bit from eBay. So let's go ahead and get started. So this stack of books here I picked up over on Amazon and they were having some really great deals so I couldn't help myself. These first two books is part of the Who Was series. So I've got What Was the Lewis and Clark Expedition and Who Was Anne Frank. Uh, these are really great books. I do have a couple in my collection right now and honestly, I totally forgot about them until Hannah over at Pepper and Pine. Guys, she is amazing. If you are ever looking to do your own unit study, definitely go and check out her channel. I'll go ahead and leave a link in my description box. She is definitely the go-to person to see how to put those together. She is phenomenal. Anyway, she shared a lot of these books that she uses in her unit studies, and I would have to agree with her. They are so amazing. The pictures are so fun, lots of great information, and my boys have actually loved these. They're a super easy read. You can definitely get it done within a day, two at the most, depending on you know the age of your child, but they are really, really great books. Next, I picked up The Captain's Dog, My Journey with the Lewis and Clark Tribe. I thought this would be a really fun read aloud for my sixth grader. He is learning about Lewis and Clark right now, so I thought it would be really fun to hear the dog side of the story. You guys, I am so excited about this history book. I have been looking for something for my eighth grader. Um, we love are a Becca history, but I've kind of noticed that he's starting to get a little bored, so it's time to switch things up. And again, my friend Hannah over at Pepper and Pine, she shared, you know, a video all about this book series, and I fell in love with it, and I couldn't be more happy. So I went ahead and purchased book nine, which is what we are kind of working on right now through the end of World War One, and then everything going into World War Two. So this is the one I did get. I started to flip through it and found myself, honestly, the next two days, I read through this entire book. I could not put it down. The information in it is just, it's phenomenal. And because of that, I went ahead and purchased book four through eight. And so those are actually coming soon. I did find those used on eBay for like $4 a piece. So those I am waiting for those, you know, media mail, it takes forever, but honestly, for the price, I totally, it's worth it. So I do have the rest of those coming. So next, I picked up a couple poetry books. These ones were recommended by Julie Bogart, Hate That Cat. I meant to pick up Love That Dog as well. I don't know how it didn't get in my cart, so I do need to purchase that one too. But guys, this was so funny. I flipped through you know, a couple pages of this book, and I was laughing so hard my stomach hurt. It is, it's super silly, and I know my boys would enjoy it. I am going to start, you know, trickling in some poetry during our tea time, and so I thought this would be a really fun book to start with. And then, of course, I picked up Shel Silverstein, Where the Sidewalk Ends. Why I didn't have this in my library to begin with, I don't know, because it is one of my it was honestly, this was a favorite when I grew up. I did not know that it was poetry at the time. You know, it was just a fun read for a kid. And so, of course, I had to have this one in my library. And Amazon, I think I picked it up for maybe $12. I also found this one, A Boy in the Nazi Death Camp, Surviving Hitler. I went ahead and read majority of these books that I've purchased um, as soon as they came in, I could not put them down. This one, I, I will, you know, admit it is a very, very sad story. It is a true story about this young man who did survive Hitler's Nazi camp. And I was bawling by the time I was done with, you know, flipping through this book. It, it, it was, it was so sad. 
But anyways, I think it would be a really great read for my son when we get into our World War II unit. I also found Code Talker. This is going to be a great addition to our World War II series about the Navajo Marines who helped, you know, decode messages. So this is going to be a really great one for my eighth grader to read. I also found You Wouldn't Want to Explore Lewis and Clark. Again, I saw this one over on Hannah's channel and it was so much fun. I know my sixth grader is going to love it. Honestly, I all of my boys are going to love this. Great historical information and you guys, the pictures are, they're fun. They're more comic book style. So this is gonna be fantastic. Okay, so these next three books are from National Geographic. I did pick up The Pearl Harbor, D-Day, and World War I. These are all stories told by real survivors and the pictures in here are really, really great. Lots of historical facts in here, but the story is actually being told by people who survived. So this is pretty phenomenal. It, it was very sad. I did flip through you know, a couple of these and read some of their stories. And again, I was crying. It, it was a lot, of, a lot of information in there but this will be a really great addition to our World War II unit. So this very last book that I purchased from Amazon is How We Crossed the West, The Adventures of Lewis and Clark. This one is also by National Geographic. I really loved this book. The pictures in here are really great and it is actually told in real words from the Lewis and Clark journals itself and I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a little L right here. So this little part came from Lewis's journal. Um, Clark is in here, and I believe a couple other journal entries are in here from some other people. But this book was lots of fun to read through. Even my five-year-old just loved the pictures, and he loved to just flip through this. So this was a great addition to our Lewis and Clark study. Okay, so these next books, and I actually have a couple movies in here too, came from Goodwill. I love to buy books used. A lot of my library actually came from thrift stores and discarded books from the library. Not all of them, but majority of them. So the first book is a hardback book, Battles of the Civil War, and really great pictures in here. Anyways, it goes into all of the major battles that were fought during the Civil War. I also found these DVDs, The Century of Warfare from the History Channel, and they go into World War I all the way up to World War II. I thought this was a really great find. They are actually brand new. They still have the packaging on them, and I picked these up for $3 a piece. I also found The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I love these great illustrated classics. They're really fun and they're an easy read. There's pictures on every single page. So my boys love these and anytime I can find um, a book from this collection, I always pick it up. Here is a nonfiction book on Pocahontas. I thought this would be a really great addition to our library. Next is The Last of the Mohicans. This one actually isn't the full story. It's the classic starts. It's retold from the original, but it's an easy read. And The Last of the Mohicans is a really great story, but this one's just a little bit easier for the boys to understand. So I thought my sixth grader would really enjoy this. And then I bought, you guys, I found all of these. These were 50 cents a piece. They're all of the classics. So I picked up The Red Badge of Courage, David Copperfield, Oliver Twist, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Treasure Island, and Robinson Crusoe. I was so excited when I found these. The covers are kind of silly, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't change the story. So I thought these were a really great find. 
Here are a couple more of those books from the Who Was series. I found Leonardo da Vinci and Who Was Albert Einstein. I found these guys for 99 cents a piece. I was so excited. Once I found them, I knew there had to be more. And I kid you not, I spent the next hour rummaging through every single aisle trying to find them. Unfortunately, I didn't, but that's okay. These are great and I'm really excited to put these in our library. So next is Seabiscuit, an American legend. I love this story, you guys. It is a phenomenal story. I've never read through the actual book. I've only seen the movie, but I'm really excited to read this with the boy. So I think it'd be a fun read aloud for us. With Vietnam, I pledge allegiance. This one is book one. So I'm assuming that there's more to the series, but my boys love war stories. So I thought this would be a great addition. And then last, I found a biography on Jefferson Davis, the Confederate president. So I was really excited about this find. So again, really great pictures, lots of information in here. And then last, I do not have all my books from eBay yet. A couple of, well, one of them did come in, Carry On Mr. Bowditch, and I'm excited to read this book. I saw this over on Candace from Homeschool on a Hill. She shared this as one of her read-alouds with her boys, and it sounded like a really great read, so I went ahead and picked this one up for a couple dollars, and I'm really excited about it. So, Okay, you guys, this is everything that I have purchased over the last couple weeks. I'm really excited about all of them. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if it's something that you have liked and you want to see more of these hauls. Until next time, bye.